I have a universal motor for the washing machine. This motor is installed in the front load washing machines. Today I will make you explain it through its wiring diagram. I will also tell you how it is manufactured internally. And how is the motor coil made? See, it has an 8 wires connection, and how can you make its connections in these 8 wires? I will also tell you how you will understand that the motor has the problem or the PCB when the washing machine gets faulty. Before understanding the motor schematic and wiring diagram, we should realize its internal physical parts. If you see this carefully, this is a stator. It has two coils inside it. This is the number one coil, and this is the second number coil. It has an armature or a rotor. This is the armature that rotates inside the motor. I know most of my viewers would know about it. Now let me tell you how the coils are attached to the motor through the schematic diagram. First of all, I am making the coils of the stator inside the motor. It has a stator inside it with two coils, which I have made here. Then how are these coils joined together? This point of the coil. Second, this point of the coils is combined and made into a common point. I will take this point of the wire out from the coil and extend the wire here. Now the point of the coil is left here. Now I will make the armature of the motor. The armature has a commutator installed on it. If you know about the commutator, let me show you the commutator. This is a commutator. It has 36 slots, and I had already written 36 slots on it. It is attached to the backside of the armature where the brushes run. As I have made the figure of the commutator, it has also coils inside it, which go inside the armature. This way, this coil is attached to the armature. It has brushes here on the sides of the commutator. These are made of carbon. One wire comes out from the carbon on the left. The second wire is from the right carbon. The third wire is taken from the stator coil. You saw the internal schematic of the motor. As in the diagram, I made four wires out of the motor but it has eight wires in the motor. So, where are these four extra wires come from? Let me explain this as well. First of all, understand its connector. The connector starts from here, which is its number one point. And the connector end is on the top with number 10. This connector is for 10 wires connections. So if I show you the connector from the front, it has two empty connectors. And the rest eight of them has the connections. Now, First of all, I will tell you about the 3 and 4 numbered wires. 3 and 4 are white colored wires. These white colored wires are going inside the taco coil of the motor. The taco coil generates pulses that go towards the PCB for the motor speed control. The motor speed is controlled from here. This taco generates the momentum needed to rotate the drum or the motor. Let me show you internally. The taco has a coil inside it. Over here, inside the motor where taco is attached, has a permanent magnet. When this magnet rotates, it generates pulses. The pulse goes into the PCB and according to those pulses, the motor rotates. Let's talk about the next wires, when we see the 5, 6, and 7th numbered wires. Leave the 5 for now. I will tell you about the number 5 later in the video. I will first tell you about the 6th and 7th wires. The 6th and 7th have black colored wires installed in the motor. So let me tell you what these black wires are for in the motor. I have this stator open from another motor, so this black wire is for this thermal heat fuse used in the motor. This thermal is used when the motor gets overheated. So the fuse inside this thermal heat gets automatically disconnected. So then the information goes to the PCB board that the motor has any problem. So then the PCB does not run the motor, and this way, the motor gets saved. Now friends, four wires of the motor are left. The four wires I have explained to you which goes directly into the PCB. The rest of the four wires are those I told you about in the schematic earlier. These red and brown wires are for the stator. And the yellow and gray are for the brushes installed here in the motor. See, one carbon brush has a gray wire, and the other has yellow if you see them carefully. So if we want to rotate the motor in any direction, we can run it easily. So how will we run the motor? First, take any of the stator wires. The number one stator wire of the motor or the second number stator wire. And with that, 
take any point of the carbon brush wire and join them together. But take care if you join both the stator wires or the brush wires. It will be wrong. When you have joined the stator and brush wire, pass neutral and line on the rest two wires. The motor will work and rotate in one direction, but washing machine motors rotates in both directions, clockwise and anti-clockwise. How is that possible? To understand that, we have to name these wires or make a color coding for them. Then I can make you understand it. See, I have now named these wires as brown, yellow, gray, and red. The same as it is on the washing machine motor. Because I will show you the motor demonstration, that's the reason I have used the same color coding. So the motor will work in one direction when I join brown and red wire. Friends, I am showing this practically now. See, the wires are brown and yellow. I have attached a jumper with these. And next the gray and the red, which I told you I would tell you about later in the video. So I have attached line and neutral to both these wires. Now I will test the motor and show you it's working. Everything is ready now, and I have stick masking tape to the motor front rotor. So as I showed you, according to it, I am passing electricity to the motor. I will keep my hand support on the motor. So now, as the motor speed slows down, we will know which side it rotates. I think it was clockwise. Yes, it was spinning in the clockwise direction. Now I want to turn it in the anti-clockwise direction. Let me show you that in the schematic diagram first. Now for rotating the motor in the anti-clockwise direction. First, I will erase N. The brown common wire will be attached with the second brush of the motor, which is the gray wire. Then, finally, I will connect neutral with the yellow wire. This way, we can operate the motor in the reverse direction. For rotating the motor anti-clockwise, I will make the brown wire common. I have attached this jumper with the gray and yellow wire of the connector. Let me first remove the electric wire. I will now remove the jumper from here and attach it to the third numbered connection on the connector. And the yellow will be connected with electricity. Now I will pass electricity to the motor. Place my hand support again on the motor. See now as it will slow down, you will know which direction it is rotating. Let me stop it by my hand. It has stopped now. And see, it was spinning in the anti-clockwise direction. This way, you can change the direction of the motor. This is for today's video. I will see you at the next one. Watch our next video by clicking on the left or right thumbnail on the screen. And subscribe. It's free.